In this presentation, we will record a journal entry related to the requisition of materials in a job cost system. We're going to have the information on the left. We're going to enter the journal entry into our general journal. First, a word from our sponsor. Well, actually, these are just items that we picked from the YouTube shopping affiliate program. But that's actually good for you because these aren't things that were just given to us from some large corporation which we don't even use in exchange for us selling them to you. These are things that we actually researched, purchased, and use ourselves. Acer 27 inch monitor. I've been using an Acer monitor as my primary monitor for a few years now. This is the first Acer monitor that I have used after having used a series of different brands of monitors in the past. The Acer monitor has been performing well and I'm trusting the Acer brand more and more as I use the monitor. I have a 27 inch monitor, which I think is ideal for what I do, which is of course the screen recording and the editing. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com where we have many different courses. You can purchase one at a time or have a subscription model giving you access to all the courses. Courses which are well organized have other resources like Excel files and PDF files to download and no commercials. Here then post it to the general ledger and the general ledger will be used to create the trial balance we can see the trial balance is going to be in order in terms of assets liabilities equity income and then expense accounts in the trial balance we're going to have the debits represented with non-bracketed or positive numbers credits with bracketed numbers or negative numbers for excel and therefore the total debits and credits are equal to zero at this time no net income at this time uh, nothing in sales cost of goods sold uh, or any of the income statement accounts our focus here of course is going to be on the tracking of inventory through the job cost system so we're going to be working up here in the work in process and the raw materials finished goods overhead as we work through this problem our goal here is going to be taking raw materials the raw materials that are going to be in our warehouse represented by the raw materials account and we're going to be transferring them to the jobs and to where we can we'll transfer them to the job and anything that we cannot transfer to the job we're going to put into overhead so when we transfer things to the job that means that it's going from the warehouse we want to take this stuff from the warehouse and we want to put it into the factory where we produce things so if we're making guitars we would take the wood or whatever from uh, the warehouse and put it into the factory where we're going to start to make uh, the inventory so that's going to be our idea here now if we cannot apply it to a particular job within a job cost system then we're going to apply it out to overhead so first let's just take a quick look at an example of a form that might be used to do this uh, to, and remember if it's a large company we're going to have to do this with documentation to have a requisition form in order to transfer the inventory so the inventory we imagine is in the warehouse we might have something like a requisition form, something like this. This is just an example of a requisition form, which would have the job number, uh, the materials, the date of, of the requisition and uh, what we want. If it's planks of wood requested by and it's going to be filled out by. So we have this check and balance here. So in a larger company, we would have this requisition and this would be what the documentation would be to allow us to take the, the raw materials from uh from from the warehouse and put them into a job and notice we're referencing here a particular job and that's going to be allowing us to assign it both in terms of uh, the materials ledger card which is kind of like the material uh, tracking the material within uh, an inventory type system in the warehouse it's also going to be used as requisition form to for us to apply it to the job and we'll see that process here so we need to know which job it is so that we know what job it's going from out of the out of the warehouse and what job it's going to into work in process and then we might have a materials ledger card this is just showing the inventory just again just an example form that would say that we're tracking basically the inventory in a similar way in raw materials as we would just in a merchandising company 
So for example, we have uh, anything that's gonna be received here, would have a receiving report, uh, number of units received, units, total price. And then we're gonna add that to the total here so that this is what's on our balance sheet at any given time, at any given date. So, so on the balance, we started with one unit at 225 or 225, then we got three more units. Uh, I'm sorry, we got two more units to add up to that three at 225 or $675 worth of inventory. And then when the inventory is taken out, we do that with a requisition form similar to this. Again, these are just examples. And the requisition form uh, says we're gonna want one unit at 225. And that leaves us with three minus the one or two units that are still left at 225 uh, for 450. So these are just an example of us having to track the inventory within uh, the warehouse. And it's similar to us tracking inventory if we were a merchandising company and tracking inventory. If the prices change, we have the same flow assumptions that problems that we'll have to uh, deal with. First in, first out, last in, first out, average cost. Our focus here though is gonna be on the job cost. So these are just gonna be some examples of the types of forms we would need. And now we're just gonna basically say, I'm gonna scroll all the way to the left that the requisition forms that we got are these these requisitions forms for these jobs job b15 b16 b17 b18 and b19 we're going to start these jobs and we asked for materials for them with requisition forms and so then we also have some materials that are are small materials that we're not going to apply to a particular job of 550 and so that could be stuff like if we're making guitars or something i it's like glue or something like that, the things that go into the guitar. If we're talking about construction, these might be small uh, small materials and whatnot that it's not worth us tracking to uh, particular jobs. Okay, so that means that what we're gonna do is take, from a journal entry standpoint, the journal entry is the easiest part of this. We're just gonna take the information out of the raw materials and transfer it to work in process, both of these being inventory accounts. A raw materials is an inventory account with a debit balance. We're going to make it go down doing the opposite thing to it, which will be a credit. So I'm going to right click on uh, raw materials, right click and copy. I'm going to put that on the bottom. So it's on B5, right click, and I'm going to paste it one, two, three, just the values. And we're going to credit it for this amount, the two, uh, 2,230, not including the 550. So it's going to be a credit of 2,230. And then we're gonna debit something for that same amount. I'm gonna do that by saying negative of this number, or we could just type in there, 2230. And it's gonna go into the work and process account. So here's the work and process account. That's where it's going. Uh, it's a debit, it's, a, it's another asset account. It's gonna increase. So we're gonna do the same thing to it as its normal balance, a debit. So I'll right click on that and copy it. Put that in B4, right click and paste one two three so there's going to be our first journal entry let's go ahead and record that to the general ledger so we're going to go to the general ledger for work in process it's going to be one two three four accounts over so it's going to be four accounts to the right as well so if i go to the right here's work in process i'm going to, have to uh, go back and forth on the screens a little bit we could freeze the panes or you could make the screen smaller like this so you can see more but I'm just gonna try to scroll back and forth here. So we're recording this right there in S9. Uh, it's gonna say equals and point to that 2,230. I'm gonna to scroll to the right a little bit for, it's gonna go from zero up by 2,230 to 2,230. This amount then is, is what's being used to create the trial balance. And we're of course out of balance by that amount now. Now we'll record the other side. And these, you may not be able to use these if, if it's locked, but they're in, uh, they're in the formulas section here. I've put them in the quick toolbar. Okay, then raw materials. Raw materials is here. Here's raw materials, third account. It's the same order on the general ledger. So raw materials is gonna be down here. So we wanna be on the credit side. So I'm in cell P24, P24. And I'm going to have to scroll up just a little bit to do this. So I'm going to be in P24 here and say equals. And I, I would highly, you could put a, just a dollar amount here, but I would use formulas as much as possible. 
scroll up and we want that 2,230 on the credit and enter. And that brings the 550 down by 2,230 to 147.770. That then can be found on the trial balance and it's gonna put us back in balance here. Debit's equal in the credits. No effect on net income. No effect on net income. Now I'm also gonna represent this on the jobs as well. And we're just gonna have a quick little job sheet so that we can track these jobs. So 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19, 700, uh, 450, uh, 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 670, 180, and 230. I'm gonna copy these. I'm gonna go all the way to the right. And here's gonna be our jobs. So I'll, I'll put this down here again, just so we could see it. So job, here's gonna be our job sheets. Now these are just fairly simplified sheets, but notice what we're gonna have is the job number. And I'm gonna represent whether it be opened, closed, or shipped, meaning we sold it. And then we've got uh, the direct materials, direct labor, and the factory overhead. Every job is gonna include those three things. When we start the job, we generally start with the materials. That's the first thing we do. So now it's in progress and we're transferring these materials and we know which job they should go to because they're right here. So we're going to say, okay, materials for jobs uh, B15 is going to be that 700. So 700. We're going to say for B16 is 450. 450. Uh, B16 is going to be here and that was 670. Uh, we're going to say that this is B18 and that's going to be 180 and then B19 is going to be that 230. So here's B19, 230. Now if we did this correctly, if we add up these jobs, which is this cell, adding them up, there's the total for all the jobs, which only includes, you know, the direct materials at this point that should be equivalent to what's on the GL at this time. So here's the GL or here's the trial balance, which is equivalent to the GL. <laughs> and that's going to be the same as what's on the job sheet. So notice that this number is being derived from this number. And this number is, is going to be supported. If we look at, if we look at this number on the trial balance, we need to support it uh, with, with a subsidiary ledger in a similar way that we need to, re to uh, support the accounts receivable with a subsidiary ledger. In other words, accounts receivable, uh, we, we need to support it not only with the GL, given it's detailed by date, but by who owes us money. We need a subsidiary ledger telling us by customer. The same thing is true here. We need the uh, GL tells us by date what happened, but we also need it by job because we need to track this information by job. That's what these job cost sheets are doing. So we're gonna track over here, each thing by job. The job cost sheet has to match, uh, all the job cost sheets, if we add them together, has to match what is in the work in process. Okay, I'm gonna scroll back to the left now, and I'm gonna do the last piece of this, which is this uh, indirect materials. That's also gonna come out of the materials warehouse, but we couldn't assign it to a job. We could think of it like a bind the glue for all the guitars we're making. They just needed more of it in the warehouse. We don't know which job it's going to go to. We're just going to put it in there and whoever needs it uh, can use it. So then we've got the work in process. I'm sorry, the raw materials is going to go down. So I'm going to right click and copy. I'm going to skip a line and skip another line to have a new journal entry. I'm in B8, right click and paste one, two, three. So the raw materials is going down again by this 550, but, and then there's going to be a debit. So I'm going to do that with a negative of this number, or we could just type in 550. And now we just need to know what that account is going to be. It's not going to be work in process because we can't apply it to a job. So we have to put it in this bucket of overhead. We will apply it to a job at a later time, but we'll have to do some type of estimate in order to do so. So I'm going to right click and copy the factory overhead, put that in B7, right click and paste one, two, three. And now we'll record this out. So here's the factory overhead. Here's the factory overhead. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six over. So it's gonna be the same order on the on the GL. And the factory overhead is gonna be down here, actually. It's in uh, S25, factory overhead debit side. So I'm gonna put my cursor in S25 and say equals. 
and then go left and I'm just gonna scroll up till I find this and so there it is I'm in C7 and enter so it went from zero up by 550 to 550 and again if you double click on it it's C7 this number then is being used to create the trial balance here and we're out of balance of course by the 550 till we record the other side so then we're going to go to raw materials here's raw materials it's the third account it's going to be the same in the gl so here's raw materials uh down here it's a credit again so we're in p25 p25 we'll say equals going to scroll up just a bit and pick up that 550 and it's going to bring this uh, 147 770 down by 552 147 220 that number then of course used to create the trial balance here and that puts us back in balance debits equal in the credits and we have net income nothing right now and notice that's going to be the case for pretty much this whole like uh, job cost system until <laughs> we sell the the finished goods and then the, it'll be affected by cost of goods sold so all this activity we're doing here is really just going to be moving throughout the assets more specifically moving throughout inventory asset type accounts